Hi guys and welcome to my new YouTube video. So today I'm going to talk about my new MacBook Pro M1 and I bought it some weeks ago and now I'm finished with my customization of it and I have some apps that I want to show you and at the end I will also give you a little review of what I think of the new MacBook. I want to start with my background. So on Pinterest I searched some pictures that I wanted on my background and inspirational quotes and then I created my background on Canva. Canva is a website where you can design a lot of things and there's a free version and you can do a lot with the free version already. So I think for the private use it's a very helpful website. So I took two pictures from Pinterest and put it just on a neutral background and then I also wrote in a quote there. That's it for the background. I don't like to have a lot of things on my desktop so I really just keep it in two folders. My private folder and then also my university folder and as you can see my icons for folders are different than the default folders from MacBook and that's because I changed the icon. You can do that on information and then you just copy a little icon that you want and then you can just paste it into this little field here. There's a lot of tutorials on YouTube so go watch them and then you can choose whatever icon you want to have. So the next thing I want to show you is my active corner that I have. I just have one. So that's when I go here in this corner, in the top right corner, and then I have a clock which shows me the time. And this active corner is not a default by which you can use by Apple. You just have to download it. I will give you the link down below so you can download it too. So then up here I have not a lot of things. I have display link so I can use my monitors that I have. So that's gonna be part of another video actually. But it will take me some time to organize this video so stay tuned. And then I have Adobe and here I have my keyboard language, my battery, Wi-Fi and here I have my control center. I don't have a lot in my control center. Then I have just two widgets. I don't really use them so I just clear the space up and just have my calendar and the weather here. I don't use this as much because I already have those things on my phone. Then the last thing for my customization, I want to show you my touch bar. It looks a little bit different from the default one because I use a program that is named POC and POC just allows you to have your programs and apps on your touch bar. So you can click on them and then you don't have to show your dock all the time here so you just have it uh, so you can hide it on the desktop but you have it here yeah i don't really use my touch bar for something else than just the dock and just those standard options i'm really happy i found this program so i can just have my dock on there so i don't have to show it here and it doesn't take that much space up on my desktop. So then I quickly want to show you my apps that I have. I will just go quickly through them because I have a lot of videos planned where I will show you these apps in detail. So first I have my Brave browser. It's a browser that is built on Google Chrome. So it's almost like Google Chrome. And you can also use the Chrome extensions on this browser. And then I have Notion 
I will do a long separate video on that. Then I have Spotify. I don't really listen that much Spotify on my computer. Spotify I use more frequently on my phone actually and not on my computer. But sometimes I also want to listen to Spotify on my computer, so I still have it on my dock. Then I have WhatsApp, of course, email, Outlook for my school email and email for my private email. And then I have DaVinci Resolve for my editing program. I'm really happy with that in the, at the moment. And it's a free version and you can do a lot with the free version, so I can really recommend it as a editing program for beginners. I have Word that I use a lot, um, Zoom that I don't use that much anymore, but last year I used it a lot. Then Visual Studio Code, it's a text editor and I'm learning programming right now, so I use that for that. And Chamovi and R Studio is something from University for Statistics. Yeah, that's actually everything for the apps. Regarding the videos, I will do a Chrome extension video, but I recommend for students. I will do a Notion tour. Yeah, that's the videos to come later on, but I have them planned and I will upload them as quickly as I can. So for the last thing, I want to give you a little review of this Mac because some of you may consider to buy one and also the new uh, chips came out some days ago so I think it's good to give you a little review of what I think of the M1 chip so it's not the Pro or the Max uh, chip it's the M1 chip that came out 2020 and yeah I'm actually very happy with it because I changed from a 15 inch to a 13 inch and it's a lot easier to carry around in university and it's actually very light to carry and I first thought like the display is too little maybe but actually it's enough for university stuff I maybe recommend to have monitors at home so you can work more efficiently but for university it's actually a very practical size. I can work very fast and efficient with it because the M1 chip really has enough power for, for university stuff. I use it for editing my videos. I didn't have any problems yet and I really use a lot of programs at once. It doesn't slow down, so I can really recommend the M1 chip because I think the price is very good for such a computer and affordable for a student. So that's actually it for the video. I hope you liked it. And let me know in the comments how you like the M1 chip and the MacBook Pro.